Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here thanks for joining me I'm Katie and today I'm going to be using some masking fluid and some masking tape well okay I usually use washi tape and this is no exception I managed to find some lace washi tape and I thought that would make a great border for today's painting but I also wanted to talk a little bit about masking fluid and masking areas off in general, just with my knowledge really. I recently received a fresh masking fluid pen from Art Snacks in June and I really like it and I do use them anyway but the ones I had were on the way out so it's always nice to have a fresh one. I thought for today's picture I would concentrate more on excluding areas rather than including them, at least at the start anyway. And that's what I've done with the border and this is what I'm doing with the masking pen now. I wanted to get those outlines done with this as opposed to going straight in there with the darker lines. I find using a masking pen excellent for line details because that is what it's for you've got a nice clear and consistent line with it and if you don't press on too heavily and don't let it pool up too much in one area you've reduced the chance of wrecking and ruining your paper and painting underneath I tend to find when I'm using any masking fluid, whether it be in a pen or in a brush, thin layers work best. It's good to use a tinted one and it doesn't really look it and maybe I should have mixed it up a little bit more but the masking fluid I'm using now, which is by Jackson's, is supposed to be blue. However, it doesn't show up amazingly but it does have a slight contrast to the paper underneath it so I can see where I'm going. I haven't used a huge amount of colours here, I've just used a limited colour palette using the Daniel Smith Luna Blue, Shadow Violet and the Cascade Green. Once the masking layers have completely dried and that's the best thing you can do is just completely go make a cup of tea, go have 10 minutes, have a walk around somewhere, watch another one of my videos whilst you're waiting for your masking fluid to dry and then come back and it should be dry and if it isn't then go away for another 10 minutes until it is if you've applied it quite thinly it shouldn't take too long and obviously temperature and weather conditions have a lot to do with it i tend to find on humid days stuff in general takes a little longer to dry whereas on a hot day it, it pretty much evaporates and it dries on the brush and of course always make sure you clean your brush between uses with your masking fluid if it starts gunking up clean it off anyway let's get back to the painting because all the masking's done now so i just worked mostly with washies on here and built the layers up i tried to dab some cloud effects in with tissue paper but that just wasn't working for me that day and i ended up smoothing them out anyway I wanted quite dramatic stormy looking background for this particular painting. It is a, a water horse sea horse mood oh, I don't know what it is. It, it, the idea came from when you see the white froth on sea waves it's often referred to as white horses and I thought well let's stick a unicorn horn on there and give it a swishy tail and just it's just a play on that really but i wanted it to look like it was sort of leaping out of the sea or jumping over the waves during a storm now one of the most awesome things about masking fluid is you'll find that once you lift it up any pencil marks that you've got there also lift up with it too so that can be a good thing it means you don't have to go around with an eraser or it could be a bad thing which means you've got to pencil everything back in you've got to it's your call to decide whether that's a good thing or not i personally think it's a good thing it just gets into them little nooks and crannies where maybe a needable eraser might not and i'm quite happy with what happens because i'd used such a thin layer it all came off quite nicely and did not interfere with the paper beneath it I do have a few other masking fluids that I use. I use the Pebio Drawing Masking Fluid. I use the Winsor & Newton and obviously today I've used the Jacksons and I find the Jacksons just to be a little bit more watery to work with. It still dries as quick as the others but I just found that it's spread a little bit easier over the page. I just wish it had been a bit bluer. 
Now, you obviously saw me remove the masking fluid and you can see the nice effect it's created on those waves. It's just added a little bit of texture in a different way, which you wouldn't be able to with a watercolour. Yes, you could try and lift it off the page, but you're not going to quite get such a crisp line. And it was really nice to just break that up a little bit by adding another wash of colour over the top, just so it didn't look too rigid. To colour the horse in, I used a combination of the Daniel Smith watercolours that I've displayed on screen alongside the Van Gogh Interference watercolour sets because I just wanted it to have a bit of a mother of pearl look to it. Because even though the waves are referred to as white horses, I wanted this white horse to stand out a little bit more. I did also go in there with another pigment and I think it might have been a madder lake i could be wrong I could be wrong it might have been a, a winsor and newton pink color i can't tell you now i'm, I'm ever so sorry but it was a, a very light pink color i used one of my favorite parts about doing a painting is getting to use the rigger brush and again it's just a really good way to get that line detail in if you don't want to use a pen and also it means i can put whatever color line work down i love using a rigger brush and there is a bit of a learning curve to it but once you get the hang of it once you figure out how's the best way to hold it and how to use it it becomes your best friend i tend to find if you pull away with the brush rather than push forward with the brush you're going to get a better line and if you're going to use one I recommend practicing long lines on a piece of scrap paper and just keep doing them until you're happy with it and always make sure there's enough water on the brush and if there's a drop hanging off it just get rid of the drop and then get straight into it there's my tip of the day I really like the simplicity of this I know I've used a few techniques here but I really like the simplicity of the image overall. I'm just quite like the composition. Composition is an area I tend to struggle with, so I feel like I might have got it right on this one. I like the balance of colors. I like the bleakness in the background, but when the light hits it, you get these nice little shimmers from the interference paint. So there's a slight interactive element to it as well. How many of you guys use masking fluid with watercolours or any water-based medium for that matter, you could use it with ink as well. And do you have any difficulties with it or do you have a certain way of applying it where it works 95% of the time? I'd love to know and if you've got any hints and tips as well, feel free to share them because I'm, I'm like a sponge for information. Anyway, let's have a look at what this looks like once the tape is removed. Again, it's just another way of mark making, but the reverse way of making a mark, you could say. I quite like how this worked. It just added a little bit of something different. Might not have been the right masking tape to use, but I actually like how there is a slight difference with the border. I think it turned out quite nice it just adds a little bit of uniqueness to it the lace taper was from aliexpress and if you just type that in you will see an array of different types anyway we are all done and i do hope you have enjoyed this video and i hope you found some of it useful too let me know in the comments if you have if you have enjoyed it though please give me a thumbs up and if you are new here or if you've been lurking for a while why not hit that subscribe button and then you will be able to keep up to date with all new videos. Anyway until the next one bye!